Yeah! <laughs> it is Crazy Wednesday. Welcome to the Kids Magic Academy. But I can't see anything. It's not there. Who's in there? Who's in there? Oi, it's you. What else is in the box? I'm going to tell you at the end. You're going to tell me at the end. Okay, put it to one side then so I can't peek. Welcome. It is 2 o'clock here in Annapolis. It's 10 o'clock in Ethan. And welcome to the Kids Magic Academy. How you doing? Yeah. Good. Well, we have a good show for you today. Someone's excited. Right. First trick first. First, first trick first. first. Alright, you need a dollar bill. Okay, I'm gonna fold it like this. Fold it like this, okay? Like so. Okay? And this is the magician, okay? <laughs> Watch carefully. He covers the bill. Alright. Three, two, one. Wave your hand over. And the bill will disappear. Whoa, check that out. Now Wave your hand again. That's impossible. Tap it. And the bill reappears at fingertips. It's called the ghost note. And we'll be teaching this to you guys at the end of the show today. Now, it's about to get spooky. So we need a little bit of silence. A little bit of quiet. I don't like spooky. Because today, we're going to show you everything. We've got some index cards, Ooh. blank on both sides, okay? Could I ask you please to sign your name here for me? Just above there, there we go. Okay, Lara, okay? L-A-R-A, -A. oh my goodness me. It's at this point when you realize your daughter's writing is neater than yours. <laughs> it's very embarrassing, look at this. Lara. Now what we're going to do, very fairly, I'm going to take your card, the one with your name on it, and we're going to put it down here, okay? I'm going to fold it up, yeah? Like so, okay? There we go. Now, I'm going to put the pen on top. What I would like you to do for me, Lara Lou, please, is cut the cards for me. Sure, I mean, always cut okay? the cards Okay, and I'm going to mark the place you cut to. In a second, look at the card you cut to, and show the camera nice and clearly, but do not show me. Okay, and then once you've done that, place it back inside of the packet, wherever you want. Done. Have you done it? Yes. Perfect. We're going to shuffle them up. We're going to put them here. And now, it is time to get spooky. Hold out your hands for me. Okay, nice and flat. You can open your eyes, it's fine. I'm going to place the card with your name on it here. Above the deck. And we're going to ask a friendly ghost to come and write a message. Name your card. Ten of hearts. Ten of hearts. Let's see if the ghost has written something. What has the ghost written? The ten of hearts. The ten of hearts. Spooky stuff! <laughs> is that spooky? Yeah? And the beautiful thing about this is you can then give it to your volunteer and they've got it to keep forever and ever. And they'll never work it out. It's an amazing trick. Right, here's how it's done. So first of all, let's work on uh, this trick first, okay? So what you need to do is you need to get a dollar bill or a five dollar, a ten dollar fifty or a hundred if you're feeling really rich. It doesn't really uh, matter, just get a dollar bill. That's it right. Really and you put some tape there, you make a tape into a loop like this. You loop the tape back on itself so it becomes double-sided and you stick it in the corner of the bill, okay? So when you fold it, you fold it so that the tape goes onto the bottom, okay? You then show your card, and you casually turn the bill over, covering with your thumb, put the card on top and press just briefly, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend to take the bill in here, but, it's but really it's there, correct. And tap it like this, and then you can show that the bill has gone, okay? Very good. And now 
All I do is I place the card back in and very quickly I peel it off as I tap the hand. Perfect, and then you show that the bill has reappeared and you can unfold it and voila. Okay, so one more time, fold it up. That's a cool trick, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so you show, show it on top, palm it off, or pretend to take it off in your hand, should I say, but really it's here, okay? At this point, you might wanna put your finger on the other side of the bill, just so it doesn't pop out, okay? But the beauty is, as long as it's flush, you can hold the card very naturally at the end, show that it is gone, okay? And then, put the card back in very briefly as you tap. So this is the movement, watch this lower loop, okay? So I put it in just for a second and I tap. And that's when I steal the note off the bottom. Tap, and then show that it has reappeared. Well, Isn't that have, awesome? Yes, but I have a question. What's your question, mate? My question is that it makes like a little crunching noise for when you Yeah, that's it. okay, as long as you talk over it, it's fine. Tap it all for me one more time. <laughs> and it disappears completely and lands on your shoulder. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I'm like cheeky, didn't I? Yeah. Isn't that cheeky? All right, now let's move on to the ghost trick. All right, let's move on to the ghost trick. My dollar bill. All right, find this keepers, you can have that at the end. Only, only if you show me what's inside that box. Is it a deal? Yeah. Oh, okay, so let's look at this trick now. First of all, you need to have uh, your force card on the top, so ten of hearts, which is my force card. Okay. Now watch this very carefully, Lara. Very carefully indeed. We'll put that in my pocket just so we'll keep it safe. What you're gonna do, boys and girls, before you start the trick in ghostly style writing, you write the card. So in this case, the ten of hearts. Okay. Write it on the bottom half. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut the card in half, like so and you stick the half, well actually you put it to one side because what we're going to do, we're going to place this on here, we're going to use Lara's as an example here, you then put the rubber bands around the middle, and I suggest using three or four rubber bands, okay, around the middle like so. So you tuck the half under the rubber bands mm -hmm. and you line it up, yes. okay? So if you didn't line it up, then it would just go, um... It would stick want... out the front, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, so do you want me to show you an example of the messy mm -hmm. example, like... Ta-da! That's a good messy example. So you've got to make it nice and neat. So it now looks perfect. And imagine that Lara's name is not there, but we're just using it for recycle purposes. Being nice to the environment, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'll get you to write your name again. We'll just put an L underneath. So Lara puts the L underneath, marvellous, thank you very much indeed. Oh, she's writing her name again, perfect, well done you, well done you. So then you show it, okay, and here's what happens. You then take it out, okay, and that will leave the half here. The blank half will be there and the message will be here, but they won't know that, okay? So you take it out and as you do, you fold it over, okay? So they can only see their writing here, not the message. And then you put the pen down so it doesn't go like... You put the pen down on the top, that's so it right. So it doesn't go like that. So it doesn't open up and it stops them messing with it. That's a very good point. Now you do the cross cut force, which if you haven't learned it, go to the link over there. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so you cross, uh, cut the cards for me, Lara, no, please. Thank you so much. It's Crazy Wednesday. It's Crazy Wednesday. Dun. And then they show the card, which is the ten of hearts, and they remember it. And the rest, boys and girls, is acting. So Lara put her hands out for me. You put it on top of here, put the pen on top, and say, imagine a ghost is going to come, a friendly ghost. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. And then you get them to open it up. And, and it says the ten of hearts. It says the ten of hearts. And the cool thing is that they've signed it, and they can keep it forever and ever, which is really good, isn't it? Thank you, Amazing trick. Right, now are you going to show me what's in that box, please? Um, first let's have a dance party for crazy ones. Okay, here we go. And cut. Come on, get that box out. I did promise her the dollar, so I'm going to give it to you. All right, there you go. Okay. Is it a present for me, is it? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm so excited, boys and girls. I can barely contain my excitement. Come on, then. 
Oh, it's a magic book! Well, so hold on a minute. I'm paying you a dollar for... Take that off your head. I'm paying you a dollar for my own book. All right, then, put the box down. Let's look inside. Oh, wow. This is cool. So rule number seven is timing. Always remember with a great magic trick, it is about timing and time misdirection. Too many people rush their magic. Don't rush it. Enjoy it and keep the pace so it's interesting, yet not laborious. You don't want it too slow. You don't want it too fast because if you go too fast, you're like, hey, uh, the dollar comes yep. up and then ta-da! Yeah, and you don't want it too slow either. So that's rule number seven. And number eight is body language. Think about the way that you hold yourself when you present and you have fun and your body is relaxed and you're giving them good energy, aren't you? Yes. You don't want to present like this. Hello, how you doing? And talking down here when your audience is over there. And equally, if you've got a small audience, you don't want to be over the top like you're playing a big stadium when there's only four people there. Because <laughs> that would be silly, wouldn't it? Yes, you'll be. Uh, you're imagining that there's one thousand people there when they're actually like four. Four. Correct. Now, listen. Tomorrow, we have the most amazing show. If you ever wanted to make candy appear from midair tomorrow, you're gonna to learn how, because I promised you a treat, didn't I? So I'm gonna make some candy appear for Laura Lou. How excited are you right now? I'm excited. Yeah, put this under your pillow tonight. Ooh, and then I'll get Maybe some magic will happen, who knows? But then, when will my dollar go? We'll talk about that after the show. It's bye from me. Bye. Bye guys! Bye.